Hey, checking in day 23, I think it is, and I'm um, just taking a quick lunch outside today. Just made a quick taco salad, um, romaine lettuce, the some leftover taco meat, and then I made a sauce with the avocado mayonnaise, a little bit of almond milk, some cumin, and some hot sauce. Um, but anyways, it is the 4th of July weekend coming up, so I'm going to find that a bit challenging. Try to find some things that I like, because... As you can see somewhere in the background, yeah, we're going camping in our backyard. <laughs> and uh, camping usually means bonfires, it usually means kind of snacking on fun foods and drink. So we'll see what I come up with, but um, check in later if I can. And uh, happy 4th of July weekend. Bye. Hey, forgot the other bit of good news. Um, down another pound down a total of eight and a half pounds in three weeks so I'm pretty happy with that and um, I'm getting really good sleep and also the feeling of I keep saying to people oh, I have so much more energy and they're like you didn't need more energy and so I'm trying to understand really what I'm feeling and so what I think it is it's not so much more energy but more focus on what I'm doing so I'm getting still getting things done you know, I have my task list every day of things I need to do around the house, <laughs> my honey-do list. <laughs> um, but I don't feel very much anxiety about it. I feel much more calm. And so I'm wondering if that's the, you know, absence of sugar and um, artificial sugar. I had a lot of artificial sweeteners. You know, Coke Zero um, was one of my favorite things. Uh, and I didn't realize how much sugar I was actually eating uh, pudding shot here or there <laughs> uh, things like that so anyways I just wanted to update you on the weight and how I'm feeling so thank you Okay, end of the day and just finished dinner. After work, I went for a two mile walk and it's extremely hot out today, but it still felt good and I managed through. Once I got to the asphalt, it was really hot. <laughs> um, so I came home, did some stretching, cooled off, and then made dinner and I decided to make um, the salmon patties with the leftover um, blackened salmon from last night. I used the same recipe that I used, I don't know, a couple months ago before I was on Plant Paradox. And so I was a little bit worried because it calls for breadcrumbs and I didn't use the breadcrumbs, I used cassava flour. It called for one cup of breadcrumbs and I used a tablespoon and a half maybe of cassava flour. They held together perfectly, they cooked up great. And obviously it had, um, the original recipe has red peppers and so I used roasted red peppers since they're peeled and seeded um, they are on the yes list and the salmon patties were fabulous um, Joel and Grace loved them and so I, a recipe that I'll use a lot it's great to just the night I cook salmon cook a little bit of extra I like that better than buying canned salmon uh, the canned salmon is sometimes hard to get all the bones out of so then I also there's all the rage about fennel all the time fennel is in everything and it's so good and you, you should try it so it's on the yes list I'm like I'll try it and never have tried it or I don't even think I've eaten it before and so it's um, looks it's kind of like an onion because it has layers but the texture of celery and you only eat the root so um, you take the root, slice it, and then it's such a strong scent of licorice, it's unbelievable. It's like I cut into a piece of black licorice candy. So the information I read was if you roast it, a lot of that licorice flavor diminishes. So I roasted it with olive oil and balsamic vinegar. 400 degrees, for like 20 minutes. I don't think I cooked it long enough because it was still really, really crunchy and it still had it had a hint of the licorice flavor to me. Joel and Grace thought it was really licorice strong, but I I really liked it except that I needed to cook it longer. So I'll add that to the 
list of foods that I'll try. I think it would be really good roasted with another vegetable, and it would give the vegetable a neat twist. Um, so, yeah, then we just, I cooked some fresh spinach. So we had cooked spinach, the salmon, and fennel, and everybody's satisfied. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow we're going golfing first thing in the morning, so I'll probably cook some kind of breakfast burrito. I think I'll make my sweet potato hash browns. I absolutely love those, and they keep me full for a long time. And um, anyways, great day. Looking forward to a great weekend. Bye.